Hey y'all, uh, it's August the 3rd, 2018, and thank you for joining me. I appreciate you, uh, and the fact that you're an individual, appreciate that. Uh, thank you for joining me. I wanted to show you something real quick. Before I showed you something real quick, it's very interesting, but before I show it to you, I just want to mention this. Uh, there's such a thing called the walkaway movement. Now, people are either joining the walkaway movement or they're aware of what it is, or maybe they don't have no clue what it is. All sort of things. Maybe they heard of the walkaway movement and think it's stupid. They heard about it. Think it's Russian bots. CNN told them Russian bots. It's not real people. Russia, Russia's doing this or whatever, walking away. It actually has nothing to do with anything. As far as countries go and things of this nature, man, people are just walking away from uh, being manipulated. All sort of things. Ma being manipulated, being censored, being um, being told shut up, being told, oh, you, you don't count, oh, you don't even exist. Because we told you you don't. <clears throat> A lot of people are walking away from that. And we're here to talk about right now, specifically the censorship. Because a lot of people, they're still looking at a situation and they're on the walkaway fence. There's people who's actually on the walkaway fence right now as we speak. They're thinking about walking away. They're thinking, man, you know, uh, these uh, ideals that I've been holding so strong to, these political foundations that I've been holding so strong to, they just don't even make hardly any sense, man. Meanwhile, people who hold the same ideal, uh, ideals are getting very violent, very inconsiderate, very rude looking, very... Uh, arrogant and stuff when you consider the people who actually are on CNN, like that Jim Acosta fella, and how he looks. And you might think, oh man, you know, I was thinking about walking away. You should go ahead and do it, all right? All the evidence points towards doing it. I think it'll feel a lot better. It's gonna have a lot less stress in your life. By walking away from all the manipulations, the lies, and just uh, just rising above, and understanding that there is all sort of censorship. Like, that's not a made up thing. All right, they're talking right now about completely banning Alex Jones from the world. Basically, like off the internet completely. Like YouTube wants, to, I mean, there's people involved who if they could pull a switch and get Alex Jones himself banned off YouTube, they would do it right now. There's a lot of people of every sort of background who probably pull that switch right now as to speak. All right, meanwhile, it's not even about Alex Jones, it's about People in general, how are you going to ban a person from off of YouTube? Not only that, when you're setting a precedent, when you're talking about a person, love them or hate them, does not matter. You're talking about numbers. Alex Jones puts up numbers. You're talking about millions. You're talking about millions and millions across the world. Certainly, they, these are people who exist all over the world in every country. You'd be, so, you'd be shocked and surprised by it, I'm sure. All the different countries listen to someone who's from Texas, dude, talking all Texan. You know, really talking about, and maybe getting all flustered, but talking about some stuff that kind of sounds really, really bad. All right. So people are using that as an example. Uh, you know, you really can't, you can't ban a person. Some people are standing up for him. I, of course, stand up for him because, you know, uh, why, why not? Why wouldn't you stand up for him? But the thing is, a lot of people, uh, especially in y'all, uh, in that I don't even know what you call it, that government media, that CNN, uh, MSNBC, they're trying to celebrate this. So they're trying to be like, oh man, Alex Jones hating on kids. I saw Alex Jones push a kid down the stairwell. Oh man, Alex, Alex Jones threatening his ex-wife and stuff to murder him. And stuff, just saying all sort of just whatever they can, man. Ridiculous things to break down this one person. That's just a side note. He's only one person. We're, we're not here to really talk about one person, but I want to give you one example. And it's not Alex Jones. All right, so uh, real briefly, I wanted to show you this. Here's a window into the kind of censorship that people are talking about. Not only will you get banned from the internet or banned actually get your account banned from Twitter and stuff like this, but you'll also be shadow banned. And a lot of people think this is like a, some sort of unicorn or a dragon and stuff. Like shadow banning is just something, oh, it's some weird paranoid term that people made up. No, shadow banning is as clear as day. I've actually been pointing it out for quite some time now. The shadow banning. This is where uh, YouTube does basically some suicidal behavior 
right? And they take what's so popular on their uh, on their site, they take what's the most popular and totally bury it down to where people can't even find it. Right? Why would they do that? Doesn't really hardly make no sense because when you think about it, shouldn't you two want to promote that stuff and get even more people to watch? These videos that are so popular get them more popular. That way they can sell more in advertisements, make more money. Doesn't that make any sense? But no, they don't want to do that. Instead, what they'll do, and they do it all the time, Twitter as well, Facebook as well. You're talking about all those little things that you're talking about. All right? They're all shadow banning. They've been shadow banning for a long time. And a lot of people still don't even believe it. Like I said, they're on the walk away phase. They're like, oh man, I've heard about shadow banning, but I, I don't, I don't, what is shadow banning? What is shadow banning? All right, here's all you need to do go on to YouTube and start typing in words, certain words, and you're gonna get to know these keywords. You're gonna start to easily figure out all the keywords. Once you figure out a couple of them, the rest will just start coming to you. But I'm gonna give you a couple right now. Here's a couple keywords right now, and I've already typed it in. You can see it right now. We're at the top. When you type in South Africa, we're here on YouTube. This is the end of YouTube, by the way. Thank you for joining me. Uh, when you type in South Africa, I want you to look at this. This is the top search results in YouTube. Just you go ahead and do it yourself. Type in South Africa into YouTube. See if you don't see exactly what I'm looking at right now. All right, I want to point your attention to the top, the top, on the tippy top. In fact, it has a whole top row. It's like a, it's a whole row onto itself. It's CBS News. CBS News. All right, I want to take a look at the numbers real quick. All right. Cash in transit, highest cripple South Africa. And I saw the video's headline earlier is talking about uh, about 200 Cash and transit heists have taken place in South Africa already this year, if I understand correctly. In South Africa alone, about 200. Talking about it crippled South Africa. You know, I mean, in a sense, I'm sure it's not good for South Africa, but South Africa is already starting to get crippled. For the people who have been keeping up with it, all right, trust me, there's been a lot of people keeping up with it. And certainly, yeah, they're going to have a lot of problems. They're already being crippled. It's called communism. It's quite clear cut. But let's just go past this first row. CBS News has the entire first row, by the way. And also, CBS News has the second spot, too. It's got number one and number two. Right? And I didn't even bother looking at this video. But look, it says, watch Blood Moon. Dude, I typed in South Africa, dude. You told me to watch Blood Moon go in, into total eclipse. What does that have to... What does the moon have to do with South Africa? All right? <laughs> I mean, come on, man, for real. Uh, let's go to the next one. This one's actually kind of legitimate. Now they're starting to get, first of all, they put the worst up at the top. The, just the most, who, who even cares? Then they go down to RT, and RT is actually talking about some stuff. De democracy in action, South African president, blah, 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 this and that. The political stuff. They're talking about what is, what's taking place right now, amongst other things, some sort of constitutional amendment and which redistributes all this land from people who have land right now, takes it away from them, kicks them to the curb. I don't know. It kicks them off the country, hopefully, so that they can refuge somewhere else, hopefully. But, you know, people are, like, putting in bills and passing bills, like, currently. These, these past few days, been, been trying to put in through bills and stuff through their constitution to, to amend the constitution in order to redistribute land. They think, oh, man, the white people are bad. The black people are going to take over. It's all simplified. It's all dumbed down. It all doesn't make no kind of sense. Historically, it's not even accurate at all to think that black people were even there. <laughs> and, and, you know, <laughs> anyways, you can keep going on and on and on and on and on. Uh, but CRT is actually talking about what's current. You notice that this, this uh, video right here is a day old, right? So they're talking about pretty current stuff. 35,000 views. Keep that number in mind, by the way, because you're looking at two hours ago, whatever that is, but you're looking at six days ago, 68,000 views. And I mean, cash and transit heist, which is a very, very, very first video that you see. What's that, 1.3 thousand views in two days? Oh, that's, a, that's amazing. Get going, CBS News. You really captivate people. 
uh, so check this out. We'll go further down the list, man. Just to be real brief, I want to go a couple more down the list. We got South Africa reacts to the ANC's announcements, blah, 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 blah probably the uh, amendment. Uh, I dare not even go into that video. It's 1.9 thousand uh, views. 1.9 in two days. 1.9. All right. So you're kind of keeping a rough uh, guesstimate of the numbers, you know, uh, as far as how many views uh, these particular videos get. You got one day ago, it's 15,000 views. So it averages 15,000 views a day. This one right here averages what? Uh, 0.8 thousand views this one right here is 35 thousand views a day all right a lot of people are seeing it uh but keep those numbers in mind watch south africa pushes ahead with constitutional amendment that's europe news that's 1000 views it might sound like these are big but these are actually minuscule numbers when you think about it on the YouTube world, South Africa moving to expropriate white farmers. And that's Al Jazeera. That's not, I mean, who even watches Al Jazeera here? But that's got even more. That's got 10,000 views in a day. That was actually kind of legitimate. Then you got white farm murders in South Africa. You're starting to get, when you start to get well below uh, that first part, then you start to see it was stuff like white farm murders in South Africa. There's 30,000 views. In three days, ABC News Australia starts to talk about it. That's ABC News Australia. That's not America, though. China seeks deeper ties with South Africa. <laughs> and that's an interesting number right there. Two days ago, 102 views. All right, that's not popular at all. And then even right below it is South Africa tops metal table as Eni Kwichi. <laughs> Amusa, whatever, three hours ago at 20 views. Pitiful numbers. You're seeing pitiful numbers. I typed in South Africa. You don't have to go more than like 10 videos down before you're seeing just stupid numbers. 20, 20 views, really? That's, that's the best you can give me about some stuff that I wouldn't even care about? All right. So I wanted to show you all that. And uh, real briefly before we get out of here, I wanted to show you a little peek into what is shadow banning and how it's just all over. You might not see it, but... Uh, it's just because you don't know what you're looking for. So type in South Africa and then go ahead and type in Lauren Southern. You can do this for yourself, man. Go on to your Google. Go on to your YouTube. Type in South Africa, Lauren Southern. I'll take a look at this real quick. All right. You'll notice first thing that pops up is Farmlands. Now, this is a documentary uh, dropped recently, and it doesn't even have South Africa in the title. However, you can tell it's about, I mean, I typed in Lawrence Southern, South Africa. Documentary has a lot to do with South Africa. So naturally, the, the video would pop up right at the top, and so it did. All right. And before we continue to look at just the other videos and how popular they are, I want you to just take note. I mean, I, I looked, is this a documentary dropped only about 35 days ago. All right, and then I went ahead and did the math, just so you don't have to, but you could do it yourself. All right, that that averages at about what's it, 35, 30 to thirty-five thousand views a day on average, for over a month now. Those kind of numbers, all right, absolutely trouncing everything that you just saw that I typed in when I typed in South Africa. This this video on the top right here. If you do the math, easily trounces every last video that we were just looking at when we typed in South Africa. All right, easily, easily trounce, and then and then it goes on. You know the reality of South Africa farmers, three hundred seventeen thousand. How's that for numbers? White farmers slaughtered in South Africa, six hundred twenty-five thousand. What about those numbers? So, I mean, you know what I'm saying. You can already see YouTube is not concerned about what's popular at all. It's quite clear. It's clear as a bell, isn't it? South Africa destroys itself. Uh, One hundred fifty-two thousand goes on and on. Land, land or death. Mandela's fate. Uh, failed Rainbow Nation. Three hundred forty-three thousand, and it just goes on and on and on. And might I stop on the last one right here? South Africa's farm murders. Janine's story. Go ahead and check that out if you want to cry within seven minutes, because you're going to. All right. All these, all these videos easily are would be trying. Not only is it Lauren Southern either. Lauren Southern is one person. 
All right, find out who else is talking about South Africa. For example, uh, Black Pigeon Speaks, right? Uh, that's just one example. We'll find out who else is talking about them. And understand that all those, every last person is shadow banned completely. You're not going to be seen. CBS News is going to be seen. It doesn't matter how unpopular their stupid little video is about transit height. <laughs> About transit heights. It's like, dude, who gives a damn about transit heights when y'all are y'all are fixing to starve your own people out of existence, dude? <laughs> Talking about transit. Oh my God, CBS News. Anyways, that I mean, that's uh, I can't make it more clear for you. All right, there's so and then it just goes on and on. Uh, she's only one person. All sort of people shadow banned. Uh, this is the end of YouTube, by the way. And shoot, I'll holler at y'all later, man. And of course, we're always gonna stay in touch, man. So we're always gonna stay one step ahead, and they don't understand that yet, but they will. It's August the third, two thousand and eighteen. I'll holler at y'all a little bit later. I appreciate y'all.